kip out tonight. Uh, some German bunkers up on the headland to the side of me. So, uh, pull my car up there, I can walk through the village. Oh, that's a lovely smell of food. But I've got a spat bowl for tea tonight. So I'm going to warm that up. Well, it's not the warmest of evenings. Although I am getting a bit of a sweat on walking up the hill here, which is uh, still nice. And we've had a bit of wind lately as well, but that seems to have eased off. But where I'm going tonight won't bother me, because it'll be sheltered in the shelter. I mean the way I wanted to come in, which is up here, but we can go and have a look anyway, I think it's all been blocked in, yeah it's blocked in that, there's, there's some building works going on, so I think the field has been uh, blocked somewhat. But, oh, I can still go where I wanted to. Which is here. Obviously nothing's visible now, but of all the trees. But this would have been the observation bunker at some time. So yeah, that'll do for me for the night. Give the floor a quick sweep. I need some food on because I'm hungry. <sighs> yeah, so this is a uh, German Second World War bunker, observation post. And there was this long tunnel, the one I've just shown you which ran across there, and that goes right under the field. And just a regular farmer's field above it. But that seemed to have been covered up and blocked in. So this was my only way in. So luckily, I'm a skinny bugger, because that's only about 10 inch. So I managed to uh, squeeze my life frame through there. I've got this uh, little picnic blanket off. Amazon the other day. Six pounds, that's all it cost. It's about a metre and a half by a metre and a half, or something like that, so it's not big. It's got a nice half diesel water food base to it. Nice, <laughs> pretty flower camouflage. But, uh, yeah, that'll do me. Just as a, a base and something to work on. I've got my sleeping mat anyway. And my inflatable mattress. Kit mat. So let me lay that down, sort some stuff out, and I'll come back. Right, so tonight I've got my out kit. Three quarter small inflatable. My pillow bivy bag, sleeping bag liner, and my little uh, elephant's foot small sleeping bag up to my waist, because I've got my insulated jacket to wear on top, uh, so that, that'll be warm enough with that. Got my food sorted there, I'll get that on the go in a minute. 
It's nice in here, but the only thing is it's it's dusty. There's just earth and soil really dry, so the slightest movement, I keep getting dust. But, uh, oh, I'll manage, I'm sure. It's obviously not the place to have a fire in here. A wood fire, I mean. But, uh, I've got my little mess stove. My little cat stove, so that'll work okay. A little bit dark in here for the camera as well, so I have to put the lights on. So I've got some uh, bolognese and some pasta. So I'm going to boil that up and get all that sorted. And I'm going to find it handy. Yeah, my little uh, my little cat stove. Right, let me get some of this done. Try and add a bit more light, and uh, we'll get on the go. me water boiling for me pasta. Most of me pasta's gone in there. Right, I'm gonna wait for that to boil now. Okay, that's my pasta done. This is the uh, the bolognese I made the other night. Lovely. <laughs> Extra garlic, extra mushrooms. Like a bit more fuel in there, that should be enough just to warm this thing. You got one dirty pan to uh, to wash now, really. Well, oh, I need two hands for this. Right, just use the last of that flame to uh, heat some water up, so I can wash this out afterwards. Uh, okay, so now it's time for me to eat. Oh, well, that was tasty. Uh, a bit gritty. Every time a little wind comes in, it blows little dust clouds up. Only little, but I can I can see it just in the fading light. I can almost taste it gritty. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I think I don't really fancy sleeping here all night. I can see it there again. Uh, if it's going to be sort of gritty in the air all night. So I think I'm gonna make a come on decision, pack up, go home, and uh, try somewhere else I want to try tomorrow.
Oh, that was an effort. Just you off to spag ball. Right, okay, I suppose I better uh, get myself home. So the bunker was just there, and the tunnel that I caught, well, bent down and ran through, goes underneath the field here and would have come up on this mound here which wasn't there the last time I came which was a good few years back mind you so underneath this mound here the other tunnel runs parallel to this path uh, and there's little rooms I think there was about five or six rooms and each one had a little set of steps coming up from them as well as the, the long tunnel sort of thing. <sighs> There's some more bunker things. Obviously this point of the bay, you can see the entire sweep of the bay here from point to point, which is why it was a favoured position for the Germans. Oh, it does smell deliciously of hedgerow. Le Bocage. Very nice. It's a nice evening now, so hopefully it will be tomorrow as well.